<laughs> what's going on Scorpio kisses mm -hmm. I love 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 you guys to the moon and back you know that throw up them gang signs in the chat we go together real real bad to my divine nine that's what I decided to call y'all not the golden nine the divine nine man prosperity wealth abundance God consciousness blessings abundance nothing but pure love from me to you i love you guys so so much we are attached at the hip so it is what it is god showed me what it was okay period i love you guys so so much <clears throat> this is a scorpio affair sun moon rising venus north node anyway you got scorpio placements in your chart grab your boo your hookah your blunt your spliff I wonder why would I hear that? What if it takes to stay tapped into the energies around you, Scorpio? Like we always do around about this time. If you should see an ad, let it play for a minute or so so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. Be like a personal reading with me. You need to be a part of the members only community. Catch me on a live or when I'm running a special. Everything else you need to know will be in the description box below. Let's get into the messages. I just heard, why can't I leave you alone? Somebody keeps seeing that the road leads back to you, Scorpio. Like, I'm so tired of this storyline. This is definitely your twin. You could be married to somebody else at this time. You did all your cord cutting rituals and you did all the get rid of the ex type shit. And now they don't know how to get back to you, okay? After they've healed or whatever this is. Let's see. What's the messages? This person is tired of fighting using the energy it takes to stay away from you. <laughs> like, literally is what I'm getting. Like, this person, yeah, karma. It's like, it, it, you know, they, they don't open a can of whoop ass. I'm talking about karma just beating their ass. And it's just like, they, they're realizing, like, why am I fighting against myself like them fighting against you is them fighting against themselves like it, it, it's just karma for real it says secretly in love yeah they can't tell nobody because they done talked about you scorpio they done said this and they done said that and the bottom line is every road lead back to you still literally you ain't you are their karma <laughs> literally yeah that's what i'm getting it's like you and this person when y'all together, y'all just like sandpaper, but it's for a reason. Like y'all, y'all are the, the right storm, the smooth a motherfucker out, like literally. And that's what y'all need from each other, literally. And I feel like this person just, they, they don't know where to land now. You already in something. I'm getting that. Like you ain't one to wait around for this bitch to get this shit together. Because I feel like whoever this is, him or her, take it how it resonates. Take it only if it resonates. They, they just... Y'all stubborn, Scorpio. Both of y'all need this shit. Y'all keep... Y'all keep duking it out and breaking up. And having wild-ass makeup sex. And that, that ain't getting y'all nowhere. It says, I've been thinking of you. You all this person think about. And you with somebody else. Because I'm getting Scorpio, you with somebody else. Look on the bottom, it says, I need you. I want you. I love you. It, it's like they can't... <laughs> I love it because this person realized that like it it would really take less energy for them to get their shit together and start their healing journey back towards you than trying to fight against like loving you like this person it ain't working <laughs> all they all it's making them do is think about you and be in a love that they can't tell nobody about because they with somebody or you with somebody it says I know we will be married one day. Mm. Okay. It says I'm proud of you. Okay, bullshit. This person, <laughs> this person, because I, I I feel the energy. Are you telling this person like, 
or at least trying to see like where they coming from, right? And I, I just since you telling this person like I'm in a you know I'm in a healthy relationship right now, I'm good. I mean, you know, this person really protect me, they honor me, they they make sure I'm good, all the things I wanted from you, like I couldn't get it. And I feel like you could be telling this person that your new person either proposed to you or you married to him. And I feel like the only response this person had, which I'm telling you, it couldn't be. When I say you went for the for the for the jungler, when you said that shit, this all this person could utter out was I'm proud of you, but look at that sideways ass smile on this <laughs> on this card. He ain't proud that shit make it gonna make him even more crazy, like literally on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Let me shuffle again, because that I need you, I want you was under there. This person used to this person used to um Having you when they want to, cause cause this person is used to the breakup, make up sex. Like they they live for that shit. That ain't happening no more because you with this new person. But they never thought it'd be that deep. They never thought it'd be like in the marriage or proposal. It says you live in my mind every second of the day. I'm obsessed with you. Yeah, literally. It's becoming this obsession now, it, because it's somebody else there. So of course it's an obsession. It says, I'm not letting you go. <laughs> literally, they mean that. Literally, like, this person can't. They they literally can't let you go. And that's what they're, that's what, the fact that it takes more energy trying to let you go. They realize that, it, you know, whether y'all be together or not, it, it takes less energy for them to just send you love and light and let go of it. But the more, see, like, the more they practice trying that, the more obsessed they get. Because all roads lead back to you. This is your twin flame. This is your person. But I feel like you had to spank that ass. Like, I feel like they needed that curveball in the gut. Like, I just got proposed to. Like, and then you brace, basically break it down to your person. Everything you broke down to them. Like, you know I want marriage. You know I want this. And you know I want that. And you didn't want that at the time. All right, let's get a little deeper into the message. I forgot to turn the time on. Let's get a little deeper in the message. What else? <laughs> what would this person want to say to my beautiful Scorpios? What do you want to say to Scorpio, literally? Yeah, this person has soon with you. They, they, and now they're letting go of the energy that they've been fighting against for however long y'all been apart. Like, literally, I'm hearing that. Clear about this karma. It says, I never experienced this intense connection before. Yeah, it's... And they thought they would be able to, like, get over you with somebody else. Or they thought their player skills would just allow them to move on, like... They've always been able to, and I feel like it's the absence of you cutting them, like, completely off that's making them realize that the connection was intense. Like, before then, I think that they just thought they just a player. It says you are the one and only, literally. They thought they was a player. <laughs> and you wasn't even playing, I, I, like, literally. But this makeup sex shit, you're just not doing it with this person no more. And it's driving them crazy. They're not able to get that fix to go back over in the universe and do that fuck shit, you know, of trying to get over you. Like, it ain't working like that. It's, it says, I think about you so much, it's scaring me. This person is literally consumed, like like the, the skeletons that's, that's attacking this bitch. They, they, they are lethal. Your ancestors ain't letting up on this. They on his back and his fucking neck. Like, literally... This person going through it, every single thing they think about, it lead back to you. <laughs> At Walmart, the fried chicken, the mac and cheese, the peach cobbler. Like, I'm, they telling me things like you cook for them or you did for them. And they just, it's all coming back. Like, they see you literally everywhere. Your skeletons are everywhere. Clarify, <laughs> secretly in love. It says I feel empty without you. That, that that's what I'm saying. That's what I be saying. It it take like five other uh, women that y'all abuse and go through 
and make them think y'all all in when y'all know fucking well you're not. When you know fucking well these skeletons or what you did to Scorpio beating your ass so bad you keep trying to move on instead of making shit right when you know you connected. But oh, when you want to have sex here, you come back thinking, oh, it's going to be legs wide open field goal. No, <laughs> that's why you feel empty. Ain't no more of that. Ain't no more of the field goal, period. It says, I never want to see you again. You hurt me. See, this the little the little boy coming out. This the insecurity. This, this person mad because of the energy they're having to use to secretly love you, to continue this lie that they made up. That you that they never really felt anything for you. You just one day person, blah, 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 blah. All this shit. You had somebody else all the while type shit. Yeah. You might not know they said all this shit, but they know they said all this shit. And while they saying this shit out their mouth, they, they wishing to God you was there. But they this person didn't know how empty they was going to feel. Just yet. Until they came to try to double dip. It wasn't no double dip. It was somebody else there already dipping. Okay, literally. They lost their spot. It says, I'm working on myself each day so I can come back to you. <laughs> I'll bet. Now that you realize you can't fucking... Get around this shit, over this shit, under this shit. Now, now you wanna hit. Now you wanna come head, hit it head on, and want Scorpio to just like drop everybody. Cause this my twin, and I know he. I don't know you here. I don't know your ass from a can of paint. All I know is you ain't getting no more sex. Cause I'm already having sex with somebody else who's doing what I asked you to do that you couldn't do. Literally, moving forward. I've been thinking about you. Sure you have. I wish he'd tell you something you don't know, Scorpio. Why wouldn't you be thinking about the best thing that ever happened to your ass? Like, literally, we know you're thinking. It says, the thought of you drives me crazy. Like, literally, this person is obsessing. And they, the thing about it is, Scorpio, they always been like this about you. Always. But the player in them, see, I ain't ready to say, if I wanted to stop playing, it'll be you. Okay. And while you deciding on that, I'm over here with Jerome. A Tyrone, a Skip, or whoever the fuck. Okay, it says I sabotage, I sabotage this connection, and I regret it. Yeah, and that's why you thinking about me instead of being with me. Literally, that's what's going on. It says I'm learning a spiritual lesson. Yes, you are. And you know why this person learning a spiritual lesson, Scorpio? Only because you didn't, you didn't let him double dip. See, a lot of times, like I always say, Scorpio, the best revenge for you is removing all your energy. You you don't have the energy where you can you can like help somebody out a little bit or like you can put a cap on your flow of, of energy. Like when you when you decide to heal somebody or help somebody, it ain't like you could just be like, I'm gonna help them half ass. You either gonna help them or you're not. And I feel like this person knows things about you like they know this person that you with right now, you ain't just finna give up because they coming up, showing up because they want to have sex. This person know they got some wood to chop literally with you. You ain't the same. It ain't the same. It says, I know we'll be married one day. And that's this person's ultimate goal because they knew that's what yours were. And I feel like you cold name fuck their ass up when you say you're engaged or you married. Like, literally. This going to start a, a, a all off like a, a mental breakdown is what I'm getting. It says you are so beautiful inside and out. After this person actually see you, Scorpio, like in the flesh, and you telling this person you with somebody else and they propose to you and you, this person still telling you they're not letting you go until you say I do, I'm going to keep coming, like literally. It says I'm working on myself so I can come back. Please wait for me. This person, and I'm working on myself each day so I can come back to you. And it says, I'm working on myself so I can come back to you. Please wait for me. Like, this person, they feel like until you say I do, they're coming. It says, our connection is complicated. There are issues out of control. Yeah, he, yeah, he or she is out of control. Literally, they're obsessed. With now wanting to be with you, but when they was with you, they weren't obsessed with staying with you. Like they, it, 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 it's giving the energy with this karma being the first card. Like you were sent to this person because you were their person. They just was not ready. But 
I always feel like with twin flames and relationships that that mean that's gonna mean a lot in your life down the road. I just I just always feel like sometimes God connect people in a way where you would never stop thinking about that person. Literally, in the absence of that person, grows your heart fonder for that person. Literally, but it's like when you done been away from somebody a long time and you got access to them, where you they could call you and be like, "What's up, boo?" They done ghosted you, did whatever. They living with another bitch. And they, they like, what's going on? What you doing? Can I come through? They come through, have sex with you. They could go another year. We're fucking on these other people and, and not, not addressing the real issue is what I'm trying to say. And that's what this person was able to do until you cut their ass off sexually. Now he realizing this, this is a whole other type of connection. This, this person is realizing that, oh, this my wife or oh, this my husband. And they in the bed with somebody else and somebody else for like it's a wake up call. Literally. I'm proud of you. That's what he said. That's what she said. <laughs> they proud of you for finally finding somebody who wanna marry you. Is that what he's saying? Let's see. Give me one more. It says things move so fast and I didn't know how to trust my feelings for you. Oh, he confessed and now he wanna talk, talk. It says, I fell in love the moment I saw you, literally. Ooh, that scared me. It says, I'm always here for you. No, you always thinking about me. <laughs> you, yeah. You always here for the sex. You always pop back in for the conjugal visits. <laughs> no more conjugal visits because there's somebody else there. It says, this isn't over between us. I'm coming back for you. You live in my mind every second of the day. I'm obsessed with you. And this person is literally obsessed with you like this Scorpio because now they realize, guess what? This is truly my person. And, and know what else they're realizing? Scorpio could be anybody fucking person. They everybody person. The fact that you with Scorpio, the person, and you let it, like this person is realizing all these type of things. Like, damn, I was right there. Now I got to fight my way back in, but they don't care. They don't, they're going to do it. It says, I, tr I hid my true desires for you. Okay. Yeah, no. It wasn't that you hid them. It was that you didn't feel like you had to express them because when you come back calling or knocking for that late night, you know, conjugal visit, you knew you was going to get replenished until you knocked on the door and boo boo else. <laughs> it says, no matter what happens, my heart will always belong to you. Oh. It says, I know I hurt you. I don't want to hurt you again. Oh, ain't that cute, Scorpio? Let's get into this tarot. See what's really happening. This person going crazy. Overall, it just says, I wasn't planning on having anything serious when we met, but I can't deny I'm falling for you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He, was, This person was in that player energy when they met you. They seriously was. And they and, and they was in they, and they was in player energy when they come back on this conjugal visit. That they were not going to get ever at all, period. Like, literally, this person thought they was going to well, come in and get that get that energy fixed and go on back out there and be king dingling with everybody else till you think about you again. Nah. You got too many good pearls for that, Scorpio. Literally, let's clarify karma here. What's the karma? Ooh, I don't know what's worse The fact that he can't get between your thighs Or she can't have That thing you know, or, or like knowing somebody else doing it Every every day they there Cause like y'all used to smash like that Like literally this person thinking about all the things They did to you, you did to them That you doing to somebody else Torture <laughs> Clarify karma Eight of Cups. This person done left everything behind. The holes. This person could be relocating. Coming back, yeah. This person relocating. This person, they want a new passionate beginning with you. They don't want to come at you no more for just sex. The Queen of Cups is showing up in the reverse. I just feel like you, you're not easily moved. Like they thought you would be. 
You just, you don't, you're not going to, you're not going to leave, walk away from a perfectly good connection you're in to see if this person is really playing this time or if they really want to go forward with y'all connection. Like you just ain't, you ain't going to do it to this person and your person know you good like that, Scorpio. You ain't finna fuck over this person for no hopes and dreams or no fucking, and really your whole thing about it too is I ain't finna have no conjugal visit with you. And fuck up what I got going on with, with new boo. Like, come on. Scorpios ain't bit like that. Finna be fucking you and, and he there and doing good for me. Like, why would I do that? Clarify secretly in love. Yeah, the ace of swords. I'm telling the truth. And then the eight of swords coming out in reverse. Yeah, they, they, they still trying to play them uh, player mentality mind games with you. That reverse psychology, it don't work with you. Give me one more here. This somebody who want to stay secretly in love with you. <laughs> you understand? With the secretly in love, I'm sitting here thinking like this person, they, they really are going through it that they can't like be all out. But it's just like they want to stay that way. And how they stay that way is them being able to have these conjugal visits with you. Yeah, look, I can't make it up to seven of swords. They can, they can keep you in their lives and in their energy with the fucking conjugal visits and then they'll be okay with this fix. They'll never change. They'll never have that dark night of the soul or life review here. But that's the thing. You're on to it. You're on to them. <laughs> Step by here. The strength part in reverse. The six of swords. Yeah, it's like you don't have to let your guards down. Because you already know, you already know what this person is. Like you left this situation. The only way, way you turn around and look back at this person who you deem to be like somebody who weak, who don't want to do the fucking work, is they is they make you look. They they but that's not what they're doing. They they keep wanting you to like wait on them. It's like no. When you come back, you come back. But when you come back to the Empress, you better come back the Emperor. Like literally. You're not playing no games with this person. Yeah, the overall energy is this. The high priestess. You are intuitively tuned in to this person. Like, this literally your twin flame. So the deception, you see it from a mile away. And, and the pressure is the fact that you're not giving up what you got going on. And they know that the more peak time this person spends with you, the more time they're going to fall in love with you too. So they, they, this person know this is divine timing. They know this is a divine connection and they know they got a certain limited time to do what they need to do and you'll see their ass in the next lifetime, literally. All right, Scorpio gang, 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 if you're still with me, like, share, subscribe, join that membership, donate to the channel. I love you guys so, so much. I'll see you in the next video.